Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to Deus Ex. And look at that. Oh, this is so awesome. I have never played a Deus Ex game ever. None of them. And this is the original Deus Ex, which is so, so talked about. And I'm excited to see what it's all about. I have not played very much at all. I've just dipped into the tutorial, not even completed that because I looked at it just to make sure everything's running. And by the way, I did have to install a mod to get this fixed up and running. And by the way, this is something that's rather new to the channel. So if you'd like to see more, do let me know in the comments, like the video, share it or whatever. Just, just let me know somehow, give me some feedback. Uh, so if a series is viable, I'd love to do a series, but... Mm. Uh, it's too bad the logo animation is connected to CPU speed, so the lightning is strange. Yeah, apparently the lightning is a bit more fancy, but it's okay. It's okay. The Deus Ex logo looks awesome. So, we're going to be jumping into the training first. I want to learn the game properly. You guys are going to help me. We'll play through the training and then jump into a new game. Oh, this music. And here we go. UNATCO Training Facilities, Continental United States. Okay, let's learn the game. Let's learn the game. Okay. Controls. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Okay, the game is really dark, but apparently that's the game. Open the door by <laughs> clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Okay, right mouse button. So the game is really dark, by the way. But I think these rooms are dark. I've never played this game before, so I don't know how dark it's supposed the key to be. On the desk opens encryption-based oh. nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your keyring. Use the keyring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Okay, keyring. This, by the way, this is the year 2000 when this game came out. Two years after Half-Life, and how Half-Life is that? You can just imagine the G-Man in that window. Well, I've played Half-Life, and that is so Half-Life. Anyway, uh, ooh, right, there we go. Is that a bit brighter for you guys? There we go, Nano Key. So we pick up objects, okay, and it's locked, so I need this. Right click, left click, okay, okay. during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. I've played Half-Life. <laughs> now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Five percent? Oh. Now pick up the lockpick oh. and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Okay. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage the door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lock picks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. So I can't lock pick this door or break it. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. Activate the keypad with the right mouse button, okay, just like okay. you activate a data cube or any object in the world. By the way, the game is really dark, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I don't have brightness controls from in-game because of the, the, the mod fixing it. So what I can do is I can, just temporarily, I'm gonna go to my stream settings here. Go to color correction, yep. Oh, sorry. Let me just do this, and I can boost up... How bright do we want this? Is that way too much? That's probably way too much. Let's just boost this up a little bit. 
maybe by that much. How's that? Is that a little bit better? Maybe, maybe a bit more than that. There we go. There we go. Okay. How's that look? Better for you guys. Better for you guys. Okay. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tool's resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. A multi-tool is not really a tool at all, not in the usual sense of the word, but a disposable electronic device that utilizes electromagnetic resonance detection and frequency modulation to dynamically alter the flow of current through almost any non-hardened circuitry. Skilled agents can use a multi-tool to manipulate code, locks, cameras, autogun, turrets, alarms, and okay, so you basically use it to hack anything, right? Right? You use it to hack everything? What's this? One quick note, I'm not exactly the expert on this sort of thing. For that, you'll have to check with Sam Carter when you get to Liberty Island. But remember that there's any number of other ways to open a door, including using explosives or finding a security computer. Okay, so that's what I've heard a lot about this game, that there's multiple paths and there are consequences, right? So I've heard, I've heard. So it's like a lockpick, okay. Um, I've heard you can just sort of like, it'll say, you have to hurry, and if you don't hurry... Munitions and equipment. Okay. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. If you don't hurry, things actually change. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Oh, wait, we have to loot his body. Received the nano key. So that adds to my key ring, which I then do that. And then how do I pick him up? Do I empty my hand? Oh, okay. Empty my hand, pick him up. I'll oh, just toss him. <laughs> I'll get someone down there immediately Hopefully the brightness the is a bit better now. Move on to the next area. Okay. Can you guys see what's you going on? This won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Oh, it's Turn actually a dark room. And find the exit on the other F12. Side. Just press F12 by default. Oh, th this this tutorial is so Half-Life. There's even a dark room in the Half-Life tutorial. This is great. Just expecting a head crab to pop up somewhere. Is this? Okay. It is a dark room even with the lights on. You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair bots now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. Bioenergy, 97%. Oh, so it's... Restores 75 points every 60 seconds. Okay, okay. So th this is gonna be... Th this is... Would it make sense that... To say that this is... Half-Life, but with some RPG in it. Does that make sense? Because that's the vibe I'm getting so far. Does that make sense? Congratulations, you completed oh. phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. This game is so dark. For those of you who have played this game, is this game always this dark? I'm just gonna leave the, the flashlight on, now that I know about it. <laughs> this game is so dark. Oh, is it this part of the tutorial? Oh, I know this. Totally Half-Life. Totally. Deplete your energy. What? What is my energy? Where is my energy? Oh, does it recharge? My top left is energy. I see. Oh, so... It is always really dark? Okay. Wait, how do I jump? Oh, spaceball. What's crouch? Guys, what's... what? 
Why do I have these buttons? X? Can I rebind that? Can I re- Why is Crouch X? Can, can I rebind that? Um, settings. Controls. Always run enabled. Toggle, toggle crouch disabled. Inv There's no rebindable keys? Well, toggle crouch enabled then. Okay. Oh, there it is, there it is, okay. Uh, crouch, crouch, crouch. Numpad period. Who plays like that? Control. Okay. Previous menu. Oh wait, so if I did that, I wanna, um, settings, controls... Okay. okay. No, no, don't exit, don't exit. Uh, back to game. There we go, okay. I fell. It's so dark! I boosted the bright- Look, I'm just gonna turn- Look. This game is so dark. Can I crouch under that? I can. Okay. There we go. Okay, we made it. We made it. You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Oh. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Okay. Is there daytime in this game? Or does it just get darker? <laughs> I'm looking for secrets. I picked up some ammo. Oh. oh, right. Old school ladders. Okay, there we go. What's this? Radioactive. Complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's contaminated. Recruits it gets more dark. My suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the wall to climb out. Is this... Is this correct? Is this correct? I, I put on the hazmat suit, right? My leg seems injured. How do I... Where's the ramp? Is this correct? This is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I don't think I'm doing this right. <laughs> My legs are gonna fall off, I think. How, how, why can't I get up? Where, where do I go? Guys, am I gonna die in the tutorial? Jump? I press jump. I can't, I can't jump out. Am I supposed to jump on those pipes? <laughs> look up? Do I have to look up? My, my legs are dead, guys. Uh, oh, you have to look up? What kind of controls are that? <laughs> guys, th this game is really hard. Um, I'm actually crawling on the ground because my legs are dead. These medical bugs, normally used for quick healing, are of particular interest okay. to you, JC, because you need a boss help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during the swim, now's a good time to get patched up. Oh, I'm standing up again. <sighs> oh! <laughs> Augmentations? Oh, what's this? This is so cool. Cranial, eyes, arms, torso, subdermal. There's so much to this game. Wow, okay. 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 Let's keep going. Guys, we didn't die. We didn't die. By the way, do I still have, um... Those bullets? Inventory. I picked up bullets. Okay. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Oh, wait. No, no. I still got it. I still got bullets. I still got bullets. Okay. Alright. Oh, loading. Oh. Oh, that's so... Oh, wait, we didn't even go... Why didn't they just put a door there? <laughs> okay. That's fine. Welcome to the combat training area. Combat I training. Oh. And I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Okay. Okay. 
Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Okay. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. How do I... the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Okay, there we go. Oh. I'm taking everything. Okay. Oh, jeez, no, wrong, wrong, wrong button. Okay. Oh, I see. This feels so different. This feels very sort of. Hmm. Good. It was made of you glass. If you aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. The longer you aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Oh. Release the second target and aim before this guy's this time. scary as all hell, by the way. In case you haven't seen it. Oh, I just realized I'm kind of blocking the, the ammo clip. Let me just slide myself over. Why can't I? There we go. Slide myself over just a tiny bit. Okay. So I'm actually going to rebind my flashlight. What is flashlight? Currently F is like center my screen, right? I don't need that. Where's my flashlight? Toggle. Is it called a flashlight? Or does it have some weird name? It's bound to F12, right? That's F2, F1. Can you not rebind? The flashlight? Oh, F12 is none. Flashlight is an AUG? What does that mean? So F12 is there, but it says none. But so if it's an AUG, does that mean it's labeled under AUG something? Can't rebind augmentations. That's so strange. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, back to game. Because F12 is all the way over there. This room's a little brighter, so we're okay. Do I continue? No? Oh wait, I'm supposed to do this, right. Right, so if I move... Oh, gotta reload. Oh, it actually sends the mouse cursor up a bit? Okay. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. It's Thanks so for cooperation, dark. Agent. I'm gonna deplete my energy just trying to see. <laughs> this is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Mm. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the, the scope The left on. bracket key? The... Oh jeez, okay. Excellent. Okay. Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Raise your skill to master level. What does that mean? Good fuck. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy oh. and effectiveness. Oh, I see. The shaking was much less. Oh, so, okay, that's the RPG aspects of, of this stuff. Hey, we can shoot stuff. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Okay, next room. This is the demolitions training area. Ooh. First, you will learn to use the Ooh. lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. What is that? Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Oh. Lamps placed on the oh, walls yeah. are proximity triggered. Okay. 
So... That's a proximity mine? Okay. You will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. I'm, I'm always looting everything. Who knows? Maybe I'll keep one one time. So I want to place this here. Get as close to the wall oh. as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Get close to the wall. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. His hand changes. That is so nice. Called it? Come on. Of course. I bet you all did that. Oh, and it doesn't explode? Okay. So then I can release the second bot. So I can just throw these, right? Oh. What happens if I threw it at the bot? Would he have accepted that result? I, I've heard so much about this game, so I'm like wondering. You'll oh. need a few extra lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch. I just like to kid around. I tried, I tried, I tried. Next you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamb down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Okay. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Hmm. Remember hmm. this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. Have I played System Shock 1 or 2? No, I have not, but I totally want to. Because that's where all of these games came from, right? It's where Half-Life came from, it's where Deus Ex came from. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls, such as this, and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue okay. through that breach and on to the next section. I really can't get this guy, huh? No. It's fine, that's Gotta fine. Start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. Alright, alright. The area beyond the door is a grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. Remove planted explosive devices. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. Okay. Okay. So do these detonate? They totally detonate. Okay. So can I get rid of them by throwing another lamb at it? A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lambs will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. I, I, I'm starting to see. They give you an instruction, but you don't always have to do exactly as told. My torso is injured and my uh, right arm is not doing so well, but okay. Okay. We don't always have to do as told. It's so dark, jeez. What is this? Oh, it's a medical bot. Yes, please. Heal all, please. Thank you. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, agent. Oh, loading, loading. And it... 
it dumps you into like a, a hallway that doesn't make sense. I was about to turn left and now I'm turning right. Covert stealth. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. Probably turn off the flashlight. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Wow, she's scarier than the last guy. Stealth is a vital component. Uh -huh. Stealth missions result in the lowest possible ratio of agent and civilian casualties. Situational awareness key and agents should not only be familiar with the tactical opportunities offered by their immediate environment, but how those opportunities can be exploited to their advantage with the appropriate equipment. Tech goggles allow agents to operate in low light environments. Oh, thank you. Operate in low light environments, also known as the entire world of Deus Ex. But how those opportunities uh, illumination might otherwise attract attention with binoculars, an agent can survey the opponent's situation. Okay. Other features of the environment can also be used. Disabling security cameras, subverting autoguns, reprogramming bots. Okay. Goggles. Oh, look, we can see, guys. Does the flashlight still work? Oh, it does. It does. So this also, how do I put it away? Power supply used up. Oh, I'm, I've already used it up. What's this do? Stealth test reset. Well, I guess I don't have goggles. Learn the lesson. <laughs> Night vision wasted. Okay. Uh, let's just... I, I guess, I, I, I assume crouching helps. We have a lean ability. Somebody's there. A guy in civvies. You blew it. The alarm just immediately. Return to the control room to the Immediately. <laughs> I'm just there sneaking. Oh. Maybe I should observe the environment a little bit, yeah? So uh <laughs> Um, it doesn't give you your night goggles back. This time, don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched, stay behind the crates, and stay behind the guards. How, how could I have known he was coming? I, I mean, I guess I did hear footsteps, but... Does that count? Somebody's there. Oh, come on! Sense. He saw me. Okay, stealth in this game is hard. Stealth in this game is hard. So how do you, how do you how do you do this? This is this part is hard if you don't have some experience with the game mechanics. Yeah. So this is this is gonna be a learning experience right here. So crouch. So I can hear he's right there. Oh jeez, my mic just fell off. <laughs> um, let me just try and get this stuck there. Okay. Contact. I have visual. Okay, okay, there's two guards. We have learned there's two guards. Okay. Just because they say something doesn't mean they're going to hit the alarm. You have to be in their field of vision for a second or two. Okay, okay. Stay behind the crates, but then I can't see what's going on. So maybe I should hug the crates a bit more. Okay, I hear footsteps. If I just stay here, does he dis does he discover me if I just stay right here? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, stressful. Stressful. I hear two sets of footsteps, okay. I'm, I'm hugging this crate. I just went to the other side of the crate. He walks back this way, right? 
So where am I trying to get to? Does that do anything? They actually locked the door? They actually locked the door? <laughs> Does that unlock the door? No. <laughs> okay, well time to learn. Time to learn. So how do we... Can we interact with these buttons? Alarm sounder. It's secure. Hello. Really? They will go investigate the noise. Why didn't you tell Bottles, me? Plants, flasks, many things will work. Oh, look. Look, there's still... Look, I'm just gonna free roam a little bit. I, I can have a look around. So I can pick up a flask. Okay, okay. So, now that I know a little bit about how this works... So he's gonna walk back here. I don't know, where'd my flask go? It's okay. Stand where I can see you. Oh, come on. Okay, so you can't do that. Okay, look, I'm learning stealth. This is very important. I kind of lucked through it just now, and I want to make sure I, I actually fully understand this. So you can't just run that... Uh, that means they can hear you, I assume. Somebody's there. Oh, come on. So wait. That does set it up. Okay. It's still right there. Okay, we got we got to learn this. So move more slowly. So yeah, totally. Where is he? Okay, okay. Where'd the guy go? I can barely see what's on screen. Go around the other way. Is the other way better? Where is the guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. So I know how I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Once he passes me, I just sneak by. There should be plenty of time for him walking to there for me to get through. Okay. It's just another option to go around the other way? Okay. So I think I, I have a general idea of how this works. So we sneak, stay crouched. There goes my mic again. Let me just get through this first. I don't know why my mic's falling over today. Okay. Okay, okay. I learned about stealth. <laughs> Let me fix this. Why is my mic falling over? Let me try and get something to just sort of... Can I... I don't have anything to prop it up. I need another box or something. Why is this falling over? Let me try it. Because I have to sort of prop it up in a certain way. Let me just try this instead. I do this. Maybe this will hold it up. Okay, there we go. There we go. Sneak, crouch, crash. Yeah, sorry if I scared anyone there. But we learned about stealth. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. 
Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Okay, what is the IFF? I have to get to the other side of the... Oh, so that's an enemy. So I want to make sure I don't get detected by that. And I have to get over to the other side of the river. Can I just swim? That's TNT. So we have to look up to climb. I can't, I can't even, can I not climb out of this? Is it too high? Oh, this water is pushing me. Okay. I guess I swim below the water. There's that bot. Do those things have ears? Oh no, don't. Exit, exit, no, no, no. Why did he stand up? <laughs> he, st he stood up. Okay. Can I save the game just in case? Of course it's too high, otherwise it wouldn't be a test. Okay. He stood up when he uh, when I I didn't know he stood up. I thought I could crouch and like press the buttons. No, okay. But I press escape and it takes a while for the, the menu to come up. That's why you can't die in training, really. Can you just save the game? Save game. Okay. No, no. Stay down. Stay down. So there's the bot. He's walking by. So he doesn't have ears. And I need a code. I don't have any multi-tools, so I definitely need a code from somewhere. Where do I get a code from? Where's the bot? Oh, there he is. Okay, okay. There's a pit? Oh, there is a pistol right in front of me. How much ammo do I have? Can I can I kill the bot? Can I kill him? This is where I first feel where the how the game is. There's TNT over on that side. So this thing doesn't have ears, right? He doesn't walk that far. Okay, there's TNT here. So, we can pick up the TNT and put it in his path. And then shoot the TNT and blow it up. Right? Put this away. Careful around this TNT. You can pick up the boxes and move them around, but crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. Crouch to set them down. Wow. Okay, good thing he told me that. <laughs> okay, he's walking back here. <clears throat> okay. I I'm sure there's a data cube around here, but... So, can you just toss this at him? This should work, right? Ha 
<laughs> oh, that worked so brilliantly. Yes! Now, um, I need a code. Right? Yeah, totally need a code. I can't just... I can't shoot it. Okay, that's fine. So now I have free... I can push these? Hmm. Hmm. You don't need the code. Anyway, let's turn on the flashlight. What is this? General supply crate. A multi-tool? Oh. So, we can now use this instead to hack. We don't need the code. Now, is there anything over on this side? Where am I going? This is where I'm supposed to go, right? That looks like where I'm supposed to go. Let me just check over here. Look, look. There's... Can I destroy these things? So I assume the higher my skill, the faster this... Ooh. That hit me a little bit. If there was anything there, I destroyed it. So you could... Can you destroy those? You can destroy those, but you could ride them over, right? If you were... If you push them around properly. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. Okay. NSF, okay. The biggest terrorist threat in the US. This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American revolution. Right. So we don't like them. A deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. So we do like them. walking turret marketed to governments worldwide is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. Okay, so that's... I'm out of ammo? Damn. What's this? An inexpensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like oh. other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Right. Now, what is this? Step over to the communicator. There's someone who wants to talk to you. Manderley likes to hear which agents find this area. They're usually the ones who take terrorists by surprise in the field. Your brother Paul, for instance. All right, carry on. Don't let it go to your head. Huh. Okay. Is there anything else in this room? Oh, you can just control that switch. Just checking, just checking, checking, oof, oof. Uh, true neutral 
EV Genius says, Oh, you streamed some massive Orion. That's great. How is the stream? Have you examined the greatest 10 based strategy game ever made? Yeah, I loved Massive Orion 2. I didn't like Massive Orion 1, but I really liked 2. 2 was really fun. I really liked Massive Orion 2. But there's more people. The Coalition's new nano augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Is, is that my brother? I don't know. This is the old augmentation technology, oh. hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics, a maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they've made me file in my office in the med lab... So that's why that woman earlier looked so scary. This is how we look now. Right. Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Mm. Thanks. You from the United oh, Nations. it's me! It's me! Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Mm. Mm. Can I pick up these? Your hands are full. How do I... There we go. So I could just toss things wherever I like, right? You can't drop that. I have a plant. <laughs> and is that it? That's it? That's... That's the tutorial? Okay, okay. I am ready for active duty and... Well, first... Since, if you want to see this as, uh, uh, as a series, I'd love to play it. This is very interesting so far. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to end this video right here. And we're going to jump into a bit of a mission. Just, just to see. I might not play through the whole thing, but I'm going to have a look at some real gameplay. And see how it feels. Okay? Okay? Might be a short one, but we're going to bring this to a close. And I'll be right back with more Deus Ex. Make sure you go check that out.